7 a.m. bright and early this beautiful Elm Creek morning. I'm looking at this grass and I think it's time to get harvesting yet again. Let's do this thing. Welcome back to Broke to Billionaire. Feeling closer to the billionaire end more than ever. Just don't look at the money. I know it's not a billion dollars, but I mean, look at everything we got here. We got these three tractors. We're setting up to mow yet again, getting our tank tractor hooked up, ready to go. We have more fields than ever before, all set up with our grass for our awesome silage production over there in those fermenting silos. Our grass is looking beautiful, yellow grown, perfect for harvest. Last episode, we expanded to that field over there, and while that field over there might not be quite ready for a harvest we are getting it there we are starting to mow on this field right here and that guy over there actually needs to be fertilized so while that guy gets mown a little bit i might actually get right over and get that thing fertilized real quick while the money might not be looking like a billion dollars right now man the steps we have taken to increase our production are crazy i mean look at this field when we harvest this it is going to be just an insane amount of grass and while we can't harvest this month and it won't be synced up with our field over there, we are just going to get so much production from this. Just adding that second coat of fertilizer with our nice little fertilizer spreader here, getting it all up to 100% yield bonus, or at least as close as we can. We'll have it up to 98%, and that's going to be more than enough grass with a field this size. So we have two fields to harvest today, our two old classic fields, and we'll be ready to have a huge sale season once February rolls around. Might have gotten a little ahead of myself there and didn't realize we're running a little low on fertilizer. So we will just go get that picked up really quick. We got a lot to do today. Two full harvests on our fields here. We'll probably get some contracts flown at the same time on the side. Just our basic bread and butter setup that it hasn't led us astray so far. It makes us just so much money year to year. This guy out here is already doing a terrific job mowing. So we might just be getting to forage wagoning here. We got to get this guy mowing over here we got this guy fertilizing over here and we got our forage wagon starting i might take a look at some of these contracts some of these deals see what we can do on the side we have a number of baling contracts a number of fertilizing contracts and our favorite baling contract it is the tedding one again and last time we actually got this to the point where it was fully automated so i think i might just do that again i'm gonna need to borrow his equipment so i think we'll just do that right now i'll get this all set up i got these dudes working on my farm i mean you can see him in the background here he's dumping that grass out it does seem like his equipment changes per time because last time he had the self-propelled mower this time he's got the the yellow ones the yellow boys should still be an easy peasy contract i say as i try to hook up on the wrong side which is a classic this one can take a little bit we're not required to finish it all this month. We do have a lot of harvesting to do, but this contract actually goes pretty smoothly. I really don't have to do too much at this point. I have it all set up through course play and auto drive to just be able to run the whole thing without my intervention too much. So I'll probably just do that again. All right, so the first field is already taken care of here. Such a quick little mowing process. With that field being all done and mowed, we got the forage wagon over there foraging. We're gonna go get this guy mowing on the second field. We also got our big field fully fertilized over there. So making some good progress pretty early into the day. With that other stuff being handled, we could actually send the Massey Ferguson out on some jobs if we wanted for fertilizing. There are plenty of them out there today, so I'm thinking it might be a good idea to just send them out on some, you know? Lots of sowing going on too for barley and wheat. It's a good month to have some stuff just kind of going on in the background since I have a lot to do around the farm. So need to get a little bit more fertilizer for those jobs. We'll just get a couple more bags there. Look at that. Oh, right in front of us. <laughs> More or less right where we parked. I don't think we're going to be able to fill this up or we're not going to be able to use this whole bag, but we'll be able to use most of it. That should be enough for all of the jobs and I'll be able to just scoop that up for our own fields afterwards. Oh, we will just get the Massey Ferguson sent down to these three little jobs as I almost get plowed into by a car there. Pretty standard stuff for me, just completely disregarding traffic laws and driving right into uh, danger that's just how it goes all right 
our friend is making some good progress down here on his contract. And once again, this will pretty much be fully automated. All I'm really going to need to do is bring some of the equipment down here. And I might even just use some of the other contract tractors to do so. Speaking of other contracts, we can get some of these going right here. I do love a cultivating contract. It's just so easy to manage. Tempted to also just go ahead and uh, use these to bring that guy his equipment down there. So he is gonna need to do a few passes with heading and wind rowing. That's the one downside of those bailing contracts where they like to make hay is you need a lot more passes than you normally would. Quite a few sewing contracts for barley. Might get one of those going too. And we have so much equipment lined up here. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. So just got to triple check they want barley. Okay, okay. All right, we do have it set to barley here, so we are ready to plant. And this dude has quite the setup, doesn't he? Big tractor, big cedar. Old delivery man here has dropped off the tether. I like how he's pretty much in the middle of the field here. We'll probably just work on delivering a few of these pieces just to make this contract go a bit faster. At the same time, I will take the tank tractor and mow up some of those metal lands. We can see we got a couple of our boys out there. We are finished mowing up both our fields already. Mowing is always just so fast. Uh, we are fertilizing that other field for a contract, so that's very nice. And we are forge wagoning up that field right over there to the right. So we got all the boys working today, all the tractors doing something, putting everybody to work, and just maximizing how much money we can get in one month at a time. I never really thought I would want to have uh, three tractors like this but I'm putting it to good use, man. So while everybody else is working here, also including this guy driving on by, hey dude. <laughs> we will just get cracking on mowing up all of these metal lands here. Our usual little thing to do here definitely provides enough yield to make it worth it every single time. You can see the windrows are a lot lower. I don't think they get nearly as much growth here. Seems like we kind of have to be careful there of not going too far into the other field or else it won't mow. I didn't think that would uh, be a problem, but oh well. Shouldn't be an issue for the forge wagon that I handle as I just completely mess it up again. Yeah, so it seems like gotta be right here. Less than ideal that we kind of messed up the row especially for such a small little row here this guy's driving this guy's sewing and i'm mowing sewing and mowing is that the new back to balin sewing and mowing mm, probably not <laughs> let's be real here but it won't let us bail up nearly that far so that one dude i sent to the vehicle store just to help transport some more should be there just about any second Gotta make sure I'm not. Oh, look at that. Speak of the devil. Ooh, that's handy. This guy's just on full full transport. It's a cultivating tractor that I'm borrowing, and what he don't know don't hurt him. Windrows usually aren't perfect, but it's hard to go in a completely straight line for a lot of these, so I just get what I can. Might as well. It's really been adding to the yield. Speaking of the yield, it's just gonna be crazy this year. I'm really curious as to whether our silo can actually hold everything that we have going on right now ever since we added that gigantic field. It'll be interesting to see once we're able to harvest that, which should be here in about two months. It just started its first stage of growth this month because we planted last month, so it won't be too much longer before we can see that in full swing, full action. It's gonna be pretty crazy. All right, we will do the same thing, but on our other field here. Always love getting our meadow land grass. Gives me a little something to do. I feel like I don't get to do enough mowing with all the management I'm doing so it's nice to have a little something I can I can do here and there this guy's doing a great job on the forge wagon just in the usual corners but we could always clean that up all right I mean let's just let's just do some of this I realize we could get around uh, around the big field over there too now if we wanted to just start right here because why not so that guy is very nearly done just has one pass left I think not too shabby at all I mean, auto drive is making this really easy to just drop these things off and head on back to the vehicle store. He just has the bail loader now, so we'll just do vehicle store there and get that guy going again and get back to mowing. Now back to bailing, sadly. Very, very sadly. Unfortunately, no more bailing happening. 
for the time being. Some of you guys have been distraught, and I know, trust me, it's been a hard time for me as well. I haven't known what to do with myself now that I don't have a thousand marshmallows to handle every single day. But I think it'll be good. Uh, it's just gonna be a crazy amount of sale at the end of the year out of those silos. It'll be interesting to do our very first selling season since getting those things. I'm wondering if I just want to do a full lap here. I mean, sure, why not? Let's just go. I think this will grow back, but I, I might end up doing it again. Let's do a full little loop here around around the whole thing. We might end up uh, getting some more growth and being able to do this again when this is actually grown, this field here. So now that we own this, we might as well cut this because I think these are already at max growth. It's going to line up kind of weirdly, but well, whatever. Might not be worth my time on the second pass, especially. Oh boy, I'm hitting this tree now. It's going to be a little bit of a wonky windrow, but whatever. It's pretty easy to just pick it all up with the forge wagon anyways. I um, wanted to see, I believe this guy's done. He just has a little bit of grass left. I'll just let him grab that. Also, I just noticed this guy is very stuck. I was talking up the automation way too much, I guess. All right, back to circling this gigantic field. <laughs> Uh, our forage wagon should finish up just like any second here, but we'll just get him going on the secondary field. While I do this, it's good we can just kind of tag team everything. It makes all of these high scale productions like we have now just go so much faster. You can literally see him over there just picking up the last of the grass. Yep, finished work. All right. So we can just swap this to, I think it's 53. Three, if I'm not mistaken 53 yes sir so let's just do one of those and we are good sometimes I swear they get a little hung up when you're in the middle of a field but when you're near waypoints they don't have too much trouble so let's we'll get him driven over there I think let's just go ahead and get this guy going on our home field now all right, we'll get this guy going back with the bale loader there he's almost ready to work on his own contract here but not quite <laughs> not quite Okay, we'll send the Massey Ferguson home. This guy is collecting that up. We are mowing yet again. Playing Mr. Manager while mowing. What a good time had by all. It's really not too bad. It makes us so much money too. That bailing contract we picked up in the bottom that's gigantic. It has a good chance of bleeding next month, but that's all fine. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this guy is done. We'll get him going on the tedding now. This is really all I have to do is just one, bring the equipment down here, and then two, just kind of get them started. Probably should be turning these off to not waste gas sometimes I you just gotta switch right away you know I don't know if running over that is it does seem like it's actually mowing the grass itself I guess that would make sense so I'll try my best not to run over it right now okay and if we see if we lowered it there it would just cut our still growing grass which is not what we want yeah, whatever we'll make it easy to forge I was gonna back it up to get all of it so we'll just we'll just get a little bit there just to make things easy it's nice to just make the next step in the process a little easier. I try to think about it like that sometimes. I heard that that's a pretty common thing in like the farming world is that you kind of just plan it out so the next part of it is is easy. You, you always want to be thinking about what you need to do next and you don't think really too long term like you don't think two steps ahead. You just think like one step ahead. So it's like right now I, I have the forage wagon and then we have the forage wagon it's uh, dropping off in the silo and then it's the silo silo it's delivering to when you need to sell it etc 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 I think that that actually makes a lot of sense um, I don't know where I'm going anymore uh, so this guy's home so we'll just get him I think we'll just get him going on this now okay so this guy made it down we'll drop him off and that's everything that this guy's gonna need for doing this job so this guy can actually get back and start his cultivating okay drop off that bail loader get back on the road and head on back to the vehicle store there big guy we have quite the little process here. I feel like we've uh, really got it nailed down. Only thing we've added is that new field. So, and the only way that really affected things this month was with going around that field and getting up all the meadow grass. But that should still add a decent amount of yield even just to this harvest right now. So not too shabby. I, I think it's worth doing every little bit you can to maximize yield of these fields. Cause right now we just want to be building our money up. I was starting to think of next steps 
for kind of the long-term success we got going on or that we're trying to cultivate at least. I was trying to think of things that would work well to slowly work towards given our setup right now as this guy gives me a little chime of course we'll get this guy going on his own field here probably done accepting new contracts starting to get to the wind down part where once i get that meadow grass in we're done for the month baby oh look at that we ran out of fertilizer huh we are really burning through that fertilizer today but i guess that's what happens when you do three fertilizer contracts it is kind of crazy you can just power through those things it kind of sucks having to buy the fertilizer itself but when you think about how little time they actually take it's very very worth it to do they are by far the quickest contracts they're just really good efficiency they make a ton of money for the small amount of time you got to put into them so let's just get the corners covered here since we're still forage wagoning our other field he's scooping up all that grass it's really just the corners that they're not fantastic at so i figure i might as well just drive over to him and turn it on for half a second <laughs> just for a little extra yield. We always end up missing just a couple of those uh, on the headland pass as well. It feels like these harvests have been going quicker and quicker, probably just because I have three tractors now, so it's so much faster. Everything there is fertilized. I'll, I'll go ahead and drive down here just to get ready to fertilize. Either that or I guess I could do some pallet work. I'm getting very, very excited for selling season yet again. This is our second harvest of the year of these two fields. We are going to have one more harvest between the two of them this guy's going to dump off anyways so we'll just real quickly do that i might actually uh fill this up on additive too because he's starting to run a little low love their ability to use these access roads ever since i put them in seems like they really don't trip up the ai too much which is really really nice did decide to just go ahead and move the additive over here so it's a little bit easier to use I think the fertilizing there should probably get done first, I would imagine. Um, I think maybe I'll just do a little bit of my actual homestead yard there. Oh, I suppose I could get these corners too if I really wanted to, which I don't, of course. We all know I hate the corners, just like the AI do, apparently. To the point where I'm not even going to do them. <laughs> I'm not doing them. I don't want to do them. All right, we'll just get a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know how it is. Gotta make sure we stay out of this guy's way. He's doing a fantastic job running that forage harvester. I think I'll probably just bring this back around and then call it good on the mowing for the month. Oh, I guess I could do one more. Flip her around and then we'll call it good. <laughs> I always say I'm going to call it good and then just continue mowing. I just see all that grass, man. I just want to keep going. Assume this guy, yeah, he's just wrapping up here. Just in time. Look at that. Right as the other guy gets back. That's very funny. So we are fully fertilized. We just have a bit more forage wagoning to do. Just need to clean up those metal ends and we're good for the month. I need to make sure any of these still active contracts can be carried into next month. The cultivating definitely can. The baling definitely can. I should probably just make sure about that sewing contract I accepted. Oh boy, we really just plowed right into that tree. Yeah, need to just double check on that sewing. Sometimes they aren't able to be planted the next month either, just the current month. I've been noticing I've had trouble getting in and out of that kind of confined space right there with the greenhouse with uh, the Massey Ferguson as I'm just loading things up. In the future, I think I'll probably make them a lot more accessible since we're going to presumably be running semi trucks like right up next to them if I decide to increase production uh, from greenhouses in the future, aka okay, just building a lot more of them. That's something I might do someday, especially if I get into production chains using some of the things they produce. I think the main thing you use it for is strawberries for the cake in production chains, but I'm not 100% sure. Lots of swapping back and forth. I'm loving auto drive though. I feel like as I get more and more of the town mapped out, it's just becoming more and more useful. Like I can just tell them to go somewhere. So right now I can just say hey go home and off he goes the completely wrong direction of course man i was trying to talk it up and everything <laughs> all right now he should just go home you know it's never it's never easy of course <laughs> All right, let's do some forage wagoning. So we'll just go ahead and get, get picking up. 
This is what it's like, just siphoning up, doing hungry, hungry hippo, but for field grass. There, you see that little little collector back there, shooting it up, shooting it up into the uh, into the tank, man. So we'll just get our forage wagoning done. Only active contract we have is that baling one. We can definitely carry that into next month. I mean, we can carry that through to the end of the year. In fact, it might even be better because uh, I'm pretty sure <laughs> all the bale prices spike later this year. So might even be better to wait. I don't know. Either way, we're gonna. <laughs> We miss little pieces here and there, but that keeps it interesting. As I was saying way, way earlier, and honestly, it might, might have even just been cut from the video altogether, is I've been thinking long term about how I want to expand and what I want to do. I think right now, every new field I get going straight to silage actually just makes a whole lot of sense. As long as our setup, aka our silos and everything, can handle that much. But I'm thinking long, long term, it's going to make sense to be doing some sort of production change. Now silage is really nice. It makes a ton of money. You can do a lot of harvest every single year and we're perfectly set up for it. I mean, there's not too much more I can do right now to improve how we're handling things besides just scaling it up, you know, more silos, more forage wagons, um, maybe using a forage harvester instead of a forage wagon would be the main upgrade from there. Other than that, there's not too much you can do. Now, in terms of production chains for silage, I think the only two that you can really explore are using Using it to feed your animals, which in a sense is kind of a production chain because, uh, you know, you're growing and making the silage and using it to feed them when you would otherwise need to buy feed. The only other thing besides that that you can use it for is the biogas plant. And while I would love to do that, the biogas plant is extremely expensive on this map. I think it's about $1.5 million. So it is it is way beyond what I can buy right now. So I'm kind of just removing that from the consideration altogether, at least for the time being. Now I could look into cows because you can use silage to feed them or you can use it to make the total mixed rations, which is the TMR. And that's pretty good too. Cows themselves are pretty expensive to get into and it might be something I'd consider doing especially once I'm able to afford some more of these production chains but in terms of productions right now I think I'm probably going to need to do some sort of you know more regular traditional harvesting whether that's you know wheat, sorghum, barley, uh, canola. Those are all things that can easily be put through production chains. Canola being arguably the most simple, you, you just send it into the oil mill, right? Like it makes good money, it's easy. You just send it in and then you sell the olive oil, bam, done. Uh, the one thing about sorghum, wheat, barley is you can use those to make flour at the mill, which is a place you have to buy. You, you have to buy it fully and then it'll produce that flour. And then from there, you can either sell the flour or or you can actually further produce it by getting the bakery and, and making bread. While that does require two different production chains, I have to say I am tempted by the grain production chain there. If for no other reason, barley and wheat actually produce straw, which I can put through my current silage setup. So I could actually still be producing silage even if I didn't have a single grass field. Now granted, it would be way, way, way less. <laughs> like it would go down to near zero levels compared to what I'm making right now because I am making an insane amount of silage with all of this grass and then I'm doing things like you know going around this entire field <laughs> to get the meadow grass too so I realize it would go down I don't think I'm it's something I'm gonna pivot off of anytime soon but it's more once I'm able to get more of the machinery for doing that sort of thing I think it becomes way more of a consideration now there are several barriers to entry for both of these. Both canola and all of the grains re actually require very, very similar equipment. So I could do either one if I wanted to. So that's not much of the issue. As we saw last month with the canola, I am going to need a combine. I'm going to need some sort of way to transport the canola around. I don't have either of those things right now. So that would be everything that I would have to lease. Not very interested in doing all of that, especially when you consider I can make so much money on any single field just by turning it into silage right now. I don't think I want to have the entire map covered.
covered in grass though i think that makes for a pretty boring experience when you're only farming one thing across the entire map it might be more interesting with some other parts of the challenge maybe as a separate series uh if it, that'd be something you'd be interested in just go ahead and let me know i'm always thinking of other things i could run other things i could do in addition to or once the series is done while i love my silage like i said covering the whole map in grass just sounds a little boring you know i don't uh i don't want to have to harvest every single field in elm creek for grass every single you know three times a year <laughs> That sounds a little bit ridiculous to me. Now, the one thing I do want to see if I don't want to see grass all over Elm Creek, and if you don't want to either, I want to see you hit that subscribe button, brother. I know it's not what you were expecting, but it's what I want to see. And if you don't want to see silage on every single field, then you better do it too. Really appreciate all of the support that I've gotten for these. Just this last week, it had actually been a month exactly since uh, I started the series, or at least since I had uploaded the first video so it's been pretty crazy pretty cool i made a little post about it in the community tab but thank you so much for all the support all the comments likes everything i really appreciate it and uh i'll be making a lot more of these i want to see this series all the way through i want to see it to its bitter end i don't know when that will be maybe 10 more episodes maybe 20 more episodes maybe maybe 30 more episodes who knows i'm definitely thinking every day of how to speed this up but also make it interesting i think there's a lot faster ways I could be doing this, but I don't think it's particularly interesting to just go the absolute fastest speed run possible. If I wanted to do that beyond using some absolute cheat mods where it's just, you know, I give myself the money instantly or use subsidy. Beyond that, just getting some sort of generator, especially some of the modded ones, and then just fast forwarding time, you know, at a hundred times rate. That would probably be the quickest way in terms of like video view time, but that is just so boring, man. I'm going to, I'm going to try to see this through the end i really appreciate everybody watching and i really hope if you enjoy these things oh my god as i run into the silo sorry silo if you enjoy these things the main way you can support me if you haven't already is to just go ahead and subscribe it really does mean a lot does a lot for me and just all the the, the comments the likes the subscribes it kind of just fuels what i'm doing here it makes me want to keep making these videos so we're just going around here you can see we've already gotten two full forge wagons full. I just noticed we scooped up some of that hay from however long ago. You know what's funny is you could go back to, I think it was literally like episode one or two, and I actually, this was a contract field. It was a gigantic contract, and I remember it took me so long to do the whole thing. So it must have been barley or wheat because there still is a bit of straw left over, and I'm actually scooping some of it up, which is pretty funny. So it's funny that that stuff never goes away, and yeah, it uh, that feels like a lifetime ago now that was probably at least like seven or eight episodes back now at this point which is pretty wild when you think about it that was uh probably within my first few months i was doing that that's back before i even had any land any tractors any vehicles nothing i was just cranking through contracts getting a little bit of a nest egg so i could even afford anything but yeah if there is some sort of series you would find really really interesting i have a few ideas cooked up but if there's something you think would be a really good idea you could feel free to let me know. I might consider it. I can't guarantee I'm going to do everybody's ideas. Some of them, you know, they sound like they'd be a ton of fun to play, but they don't always make for the most entertaining YouTube video, especially. Very much like to have fun. I mean, that's a that's a big part of this challenge for me is it's just really entertaining to try to figure this stuff out and try to grow. And it being a pretty general challenge, like it's just make a billion dollars, right? Like it doesn't really have any stipulations. It doesn't have any do this, do that you know, I can only farm X, Y, Z. That was a really good starting point for me to Farming Simulator because I had, hadn't really played it too much prior to this challenge. I had done a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, maybe done a few years on my own farm in a more casual playthrough. Didn't really even do that well, you know, like if I looked back on it, I probably had way too much equipment. It's starting to sound familiar. <laughs> but I probably had way too much equipment uh, for what I was doing and I wasn't making very much money. This has easily been the most successful a farm has for me. And I think it's just cause doing this type of a challenge really made me like sit down and think about it at least a little bit, even just while I'm playing, it made me think about what I had to do to make all that money. It wasn't just, you know, buy whatever you want. And if you make some money, great. But if you don't, then whatever, you know, you can, you can figure it out and not have to worry about money. So 
so much because you could you could always just get more money right like it's not super hard to get money in farming sim especially when you start on some of the other difficulties but on the hard difficulties and trying to get that much money i mean you kind of have to lay yourself a little bit of a foundation all this to say i think it's paid off really well i've had a ton of fun learning the game i didn't know that much like i said so i would highly recommend doing this challenge to anybody especially if you're kind of fresh to the game i know it can seem kind of daunting if you just dive into it try some stuff i mean there's gonna be optimal routes there's gonna be non-optimal routes but just just do what's fun you know i think silage is pretty strong for not requiring a ton of money input but it just also happened to be something that i had been wanting to do in farming sim i hadn't ever made silage i didn't even know what silage was before i started playing the game which is probably pretty common for people who uh you know didn't grow up on a farm or just aren't in that world like i am this is all pretty fresh to me but it's been a lot of fun to do and if you do end up starting your own run of this challenge you can always let me know how's it going whether in the comments down below the video you can always let me know there i read a lot of those or even better just feel free to join the discord and uh and hit us up there let us know how the progress is going i talked about this in my last episode but i did make a discord some time ago but i'm trying to get a little more up and coming i've started posting things that are kind of kind of like faqs uh people had a lot of questions about what mods i was using what my pc specs were i created two different channels for each of those so if you have some of those more general questions or you're just curious about what you know stuff about the run what mods i'm using etc etc Feel free to, to hit up the Discord, see what's going on there, and obviously just hang out. I'll be doing a lot more community stuff on there as the channel grows and as that community grows. So get in early and there might be some benefits later down the road. So we are very, very nearly done here. We just have to scoop up the very last of the meadow grass here, and that will be it for September and the end of a very successful harvest. I think this has to be our biggest one yet just because I mowed all the way around that giant field over there. While it's not totally ready on its own to be mowed and harvested, just adding in the ability to go all the way around it and adding in all that extra grass is pretty massive. So this has to be by far our biggest harvest yet. Now that will be totally dwarfed as soon as that guy's ready to harvest over there. Cause there is gonna come a month, probably not until year five, when all of our fields are synced up and we're able to mow everything all in the same month. And that is gonna be pretty crazy. I am a little concerned that our silo over there is just not gonna be able to handle that much grass all at once, but I guess we aren't really gonna know until I do it. I'm not exactly sure what kind of yield I'm gonna be looking at from that field over there. So only way to figure it out is just literally by doing it for the first time. So we'll get there when we get there. Knew I was uh, messing myself up when I did some of these tight corners with the mower because I'm just not able to squeeze the forage wagon into some of those gaps. So it's going to lead to some slightly ugly grass just kind of sitting there. You know what I mean? Little patches, little patches here and there. Oh, before I forget, I do have just one or two pallets to grab. But I think other than that, we're done for September. Very exciting harvest month. I'm just so excited once again for selling season. I feel like once it gets to the tail end of every single year, I'm kind of like, you know, I'm looking at those months pass. I'm looking at it being January, February soon. I'm like, oh yeah, like that's the good stuff right there. Cause it's just going to be such a gigantic cash injection. And while I still have over 400,000 in loans, which is just, I don't like saying that out loud. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna be able to earn a lot of that, maybe even all of that back this year. I don't know, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit, especially since it's not gonna be a full harvest because we're only gonna be able to get one harvest out of this field to my right. It's still gonna be a whole lot of grass, a whole lot of yield. So that is officially it for this harvest. Let's go ahead and pour the remainder of this grass out and I'm kind of curious as to how we're looking here. Take a look at our production tab here and who boy, okay, so we have nearly 600k 
liters of grass just sitting in that silo and almost 400k of silage produced so we almost have a million liters in there which is crazy now not all of it is actually silage and i highly doubt all of it will get converted into silage this year this does seem to produce silage at a slightly slower rate than the bales but when you consider how much easier it is to make and collect uh, i think it's very very worth it man that forage wagon really gets dirty in, in one harvest man i don't believe it's going to be next month that we can harvest again but then the month after that i think I think I think it's gonna be two more days yeah so I'm going to be harvesting in November either way for both fields actually I suppose might as well just get everything harvested that's the last month everything grows anyways but we'll get one more harvest and it might be our biggest one yet seeing as we will be harvesting both fields at the same time all right dropping that guy off and he is done for the day man checking over some of these deals and just saw this guy right here 180k but this is usually over like 500,000 I think or 400,000 at least well I guess based on the percentage you could figure it out but it's very close to 500,000 uh that is crazy it's a big harvester <laughs> that is a big combine probably a little a little too much for my setup right now so I think I will get this guy parked here and do some pallets if I need to do any pallets Oh man, right as I started to talk about pallets, I remember this guy's still down here. <laughs> he just needs to bail and bail load from here. We'll get this dropped off. We'll get him bailing. So drop that guy off, get our baler here, and he's just going to run the same course again, this time with the baler. So for our greenhouse, it does appear we have more than enough room in there still for the tomatoes and lettuce. Still a lot of water, still a lot of liquid fertilizer. We don't really need to do anything there. For the other two, they could be emptied out, so maybe I'll just go do that really quick just to end September here. So while we had the trailer out, I decided to just go ahead and grab some of them tomatoes, some of that lettuce. Oh boy. Oh, 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 power through it, Ferguson. Power through it. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he ain't tipping today. The Massey Ferguson. What a beast. We got them boys in storage. I'm going to put this away, and I do believe it's the end of September, brother. That guy's still bailing down there, but he's going to keep bailing through next month. So we got all our boys lined up here. We got both fields harvested we got that boy growing over there we got everything fertilized and ready to roll and i do believe that does it for september brother i'll see you guys in the next month